there I was, Super Soaker of WD-40 in one hand, Sports Almanac in the other. I don't remember the rest of the joke. Welcome back to Persona 3 Reload, everybody. Koromaru has joined the team. We also took down Justice and Chariot with relative ease. I mean, our wallet's not looking super healthy, and I did have to use almost every revival item, but, you know, we won. So that's what really matters. And tonight, I'm on the second, what the, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I guess, uh, yeah, we're gonna go out and try and do something. Oh wait, it's Sunday, we can't go to the arcade, darn. I don't want to hear your grades are slipping, because you're spending too much time in Tartarus. There's nothing I can do to help with that. So study hard and do your best in summer school. Oh my god, I forgot. Why? Must be easier taking Koromaru on walks, with the nights being cooler this time of year. Dogs can't regulate their body heat by sweating, you see. So remember to keep an eye on him. Yeah, I know. They pant. Everyone knows that. Wait. This is Komaru's new home, isn't it? Could be a lot of fun with him around. No doubt. Oh, sure. Sports and school work the same. No matter how strong you are. Those who don't put in the effort fail. It's the same with school. You don't study, you won't pass your tests. True. I was not a great studier. I'll admit it. I could have been better. Oh! You have no idea how badly I would have taken him out today, but... No, I think we can get a stat increase. Um, Sorry. Can I help you? Yeah. Let's see. I get not wanting to attend summer school, but I think it's necessary. After we get through the rest of the shadows, we'll become ordinary high school students again. If we fall behind our studies now, we'll be in big trouble later. The game has to do so much to just convince us, nah, this ain't like a... what? Like, <laughs> It's the world at stake! But, you know, we've been killing it, so... I don't know. So what if we miss like a little bit of school? Summer school starts tomorrow, honestly. The more I think about it, the more I'm dreading it. Yeah, Darn right! She she immediately changes her opinion. Actually, it won't be so bad. I don't want to be like stupid. <laughs> hey, Karmara, want to switch places with me? <laughs> Let's give him the side eye. <laughs> I love when dogs do that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You know what I mean when dogs do that? Oh, it's the best. I'll get a picture. Junpei the Wise has yet another brilliant idea. All I have to do is become a dog. Then I don't have to go to summer school. Yes? Korchan is trying to say something. I bet he's complimenting me for my brilliant idea. I bet he's laughing at you, saying how stupid you are. Stupe. <sighs> what am I gonna say to that? I'm just gonna eat my noodle. <laughs> anyway, so, truth be told, I scouted out a little bit and I realized there's something I'm missing from the Net Cafe. I think I'm gonna grab it. The only stat we really have to worry about is now our charm, which, yeah, lesson in etiquette. Might as well do that. Yet again, kinda biting into our wallet, but we'll survive. Come to think of it, when should be the next time we go to Tartarus? Well, now that I don't really have to go to the arcade anymore, because, yeah, I already mapped this out. Sorry to say, I was just really curious. Because lesson in etiquette will get us our last point. Hmm. Quiz with the right or wrong questions on manners popped up on the screen. Question one. Should you arrive 10 minutes early to important meetings? Answer, wait, no, answer, no. You should arrive 10 minutes early to all meetings, not just important ones. Ah, I see, I see. Tricky questions. And how do we do? I finished answering a large number of quiz questions. The manners I learned might make me more attractive and respected. Everybody knows that. Just pop in temp. Ooh, there's a sit though. Yes, yeah, sir. And we only have one more stat to max, which that one should be pretty gradual, I like to think. It's getting late. Let's head back to room. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Ah, uh, no, I'm not happy. Summer school. But we have way less to worry about now. And now I think we're on track from when we actually go back to school. Which, I mean, yes, we're going back to school, but this is technically summer school. It's complicated. It's already so hot at this hour. By the way, have you heard anything about the dates for the health checkup? Mm, nope. Haven't been paying attention. I'll be honest. Jeez. Really? I told Junpei to let you know. Yours is August 14th. Anyway, it's seriously way too hot out here. Let's hurry up and get inside. Yeah. Air conditioning. Especially down here in this swamp, let me tell you. Let's do a die. Most of my schools, like, they weren't like this, right? Where it's all one building. It's like, 
tiny buildings connected. Oh, such a pain. How to sprint to class to class. Uh, despite the summer heat, I managed to pay attention to the lecture. Hey. Oh, yeah, this is going to be huge. We're going to get a lot of points. Then again, the jump from five to six is probably gigantic. So even if this does go for a couple days, I don't think we'll hit rank six for quite some time. When you really break it down, I mean, we can spend the majority of our nights just focusing on that stat. We'll probably... Ah, you! Let's get on with today's lesson. I know it's hot. Everyone, well, let's try and get through class. Focus, focus. <laughs> Still, who would have thought people would actually attend this course over the summer? You sure are a curious lot. Yeah, I came here on my own will. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Well, anyway, let's talk about something interesting today. All your future magicians will want to pay close attention. <laughs> Today's subject is, subject is tarot. Something the last episode said I sound like Itogawa when I was doing my version of this. First off, thank you. Because that makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about. But F you, because that makes me sound like a nerd. So you know what? I'm giving you a point and taking a point away. That's right. Those cards often used in fortune tellings. Despite originating in 15th century Europe as normal playing cards... Tarot cards evolved into tools of divination. There are a variety of tarot decks, including the... Wow, he actually names drops the, the Rider deck. And Mericelli. But today, in honor of the great Crowley, we'll be using the Thoth deck. Really? So, continuing on. He would be a fan. First, let's talk about the composition of the deck. The modern 78 tarot deck is divided into two parts. There are 22 major arcana, the face cards, and 56 minor arcana, or number cards. The minor arcana are also sometimes called pip cards. The major arcana feature a variety of illustrations on their faces, beginning with the fool and ending with the universe. They tell a story in numerical order that represents an individual's journey through life. Each major arcana represents a stage of that journey. Each stage represents an event an individual must experience to achieve wholeness. Let's do just that. They are all important. So let's take a look at each one of the 22 cards. Mr. Itogawa, how is this going to get me into college? You shut up! The first card is number zero, the fool. It represents the beginning and suggests infinite possibilities. In other words, the beginning of life. The next card is the magician. It represents action and initiative, but also immaturity. The high priestess represents contemplation and inner knowledge. Empress, motherhood, maternal love. Emperor is the opposite, fatherhood and as well as leadership and decision-making. Hierophant, knowledge, and the symbol for religion. That is Are we really gonna do all of the Midogawa Jesus? The lovers represent choice. Here the individual finally begins to develop a conscious. Cherry represents victory, but only a momentary one. Just as exactly as it sounds, knowing right from wrong. Hermit, self-reflection. In other words, searching for answers deep within one's heart. Fortune, reading fates, and opportunities it brings. Strength. Passion and self-control. It is depicted as power within reason. Hanged man reflects the individual's inability to take action. Spiritual death awaits the individual, the 13th card. Aptly named Death. Death is a transitional card. With death, the old ends and the new begins. All right. And it seems our class ends now. Uh, well, let's move on to the following. Uh, oh, God, he's still... Jesus Christ. Temperance, balance of opposites. Opening one's eye to the world allows for growth, and then an encounter with the devil. It's where one faces temptation. At the tower, the individual values will start to collapse. It's as if there's nothing to believe in. The individual finds a glimmer of hope in the star. In turn, that makes one vulnerable to the moon's illusions. But the individual may be rewarded for the bright future of the sun. Judgment awaits the individual at the journey's end, looking back at the path that traveled in the final cards of the universe, which prevents the individual reaching full awareness. And that's all I looked up on Wikipedia. Oh, that's the growth of an individual as explained by the tarot. Perhaps all this talk about life doesn't hit home when you're still young. <laughs> well, now I can use all 78 cards to divine the future in detail. But most people only use the 22 cards. Okay, next let's talk about fortune telling. First, you'll need to shuffle the cards. If the card is reversed, it means its meaning will change. Now, this is important, so pay attention. Jesus Christ, I'd be like me, Tsuru. We got scammed. I came to summer school. I did like you asked. And it was a bunch of hoopla. To be honest, though, I do want to make a similar video. But 
I'm going to have way more animations. And it have zooms and pans and sound effects. Like Vine Boom, you know what I mean? Be way better. Oh, thank God it's just this guy. And then I was all like, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can quit this job. I think stand-up's not in for me. Okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> open your text. Is it over? Is it over? At least let me see. Oh, freaking come on! Worse yet, we don't get any nighttime events. You gotta be kidding me. Please. Please. Is that, the, the full moon's almost here again! God dang! It's almost time to head to summer school. I need to stop by Tatsumi Memorial Hospital on the way back later. Oh yeah, that's today. I... I wonder what's gonna happen. I don't recall that being an event before. Aw, oh, come on! I, I now we'll let's begin. Your hey! The hey! How are you handling the heat? I could brew you some special tea if you'd like. I'm good. Let's continue with our special summer course, The Truth Behind Magic. I'll be talking about Kabbalah. I assume all of you at least heard of Kabbalah. It's known as the mystical study of the Hebrew text. As mentioned before, it's a great impact on Western sorcery. It's been said to learn the secrets of magic you must first understand Kabbalah. So who's the person who formed this incredible ideology? Well, according to legend, it was Moses. That Moses. The one who split the Red Sea. Ten Commandments? You've probably heard of him. In reality, it was formulated by a group of rabbis long, long ago. However, because it features such a complicated, coded system, Kabbalah did not become known to the Western world until much later. Now it is important to note there are many different ancient methods deciphering Kabbalah. For example, there is the Gematria, the interpretation of text by replacing letters with the numbers they represent. There is Notarikon. There's no way I said that right. Where you take a letter for each word to form a sentence or thought. There's also Tamara, a method where letters of words are replaced, thereby giving the sentence a new meaning. All these different methods make it difficult to fully comprehend Kabbalah. So, continuing on. Now on, one of the most important ideas of Kabbalah is the Tree of Life, comprised of the Ten Sephirot. Most illustrations depict a chart shaped like a tree. The Ten Nodes represents by the Sephirot and the 22 paths connecting them all come together to form a map of God's creation and the spiritual ascent of man. Where did we come from? Where are we going? These answers lie in the Sephirot. When training your magic, it's important to picture the Sephirot every so often, and when you are meditating, you should focus on the Sephirot as well. This is going to be on the test, you know. Say knowledge is another form of magic, so study hard. You find yourself struggling? Well, <laughs> you may wish to turn to the Sephirot. And study. You, you probably should study. By the way, did you notice that I said there were 22 paths? <laughs> Just like the Arcana? <gasps> hmm, isn't that interesting? No. Now, continuing on according to the Kabbalah, existence is broken up into four worlds. Oh, before I forget, I'll be giving supplementary lessons at the nurse's office on the second semester. Thinking of doing demonstrations with tarot cards. As such. Why, though? But I won't have time for that during lectures, so if you're interested, stop by the school. I wonder if that eats up time. Why do they say that? I mean, it has to grant us something. Weird. Well, it's been a while since we've been a Tartarus. I, maybe we could knock out two birds with one stone by doing that, but hard to say. Oh, thank you. Oh, man, it teleports me right there. Odd part of the game. Not gonna lie, not totally. Ill. Thanks for being so patient. That just about concludes your checkup. Oh, thank God. No needle. Sorry, yours ended up taking so much longer than everyone else's. Well, this is the place to be patient, right? <laughs> I think you'd appreciate that. Awful pun. I'm sorry. Really. If I'd known how long it would take, I would have scheduled an entire day for it. Your persona abilities are rather unusual compared to the others, aren't they? Yeah, I kill people with, like, a jack-o'-lantern and a snowman. That's kind of wacky. That's why we had to run so many more tests on you. <laughs> You're just trying to steal my material, is that it, Shuji? Well, based on how you've performed so far, I don't expect there to be any problems. Persona abilities can be dangerous, depending on how they're used. With that in mind, it can't hurt to err on the side of caution. How are you feeling about it? Do you have any concerns about your power? Mm, not really. I feel like an expert at this point, you know? Good to hear. And I don't think there will be any issues with your test results either. I truly am grateful for everything the team has done, especially you. Things have really changed for the better since you arrived. Our team has grown. 
And we've even figured out how we can eliminate the dark hour. In a way, you've sort of gotten the clock ticking for us again. Oh, stop. It's almost as if we were just waiting for you these past 10 years. <laughs> I'm afraid I can only support you from behind the scenes. But I'll be counting on you to eliminate the four remaining shadows. Now then, it's getting pretty late. Why don't we get you back to the door? Oops, excuse me for a second. Hello? Are we really gonna be stuck here while he's on the phone? God dang. Oh, thanks for your help the other day. Uh-huh. Yes. It's missing from that document? The crud is this about? It's urgent? Wait, but, but by today? Looks like he received an urgent call. Should we get back to the door? It sounds great. That was weird. I... Iwatodai. Iwatodai. Huh? This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. What's... Okay, I, I don't think I need to say it, but this is definitely new. And I'm, I'm kind of on guard. I... Oh, it looks like you're at Iwatodai Station now. Oh, you're spying on me, Fuka? Is that it? It's so late. You were starting to get worried. Um, did you run into any trouble? Uh, yeah, they... They had a hard time taking my shirt off to get blood, you know? Like, because I'm, cause I'm just so ripped, you know? <laughs> oh, I see. I hope everything's alright. Dang, not even a chuckle? Jesus, Fuka. I'll let Kirijo-senpai know. We're in the command room right now. I'll go ahead and navigate you back to the dorm. I'm sure you'll be fine, but considering what happened with Koro-chan, I'd rather play it safe. What does that mean? Dude, we're about to get jumped. Oh my god. I don't like this. <sighs> what? <gasps> What's up? Wait. I can sense a shadow. Oh, great. And it's really close to you. It's over at the Moonlight Bridge. It's too dangerous to go alone. You should stay put until everyone else gets there. What, what, what's, what, what's going on? Oh no! There's another reading near the shadow! It's a person! Oh my god. We have to go in solo? I'm on it! Oh, wait! Oh my god! Why are we doing this? I don't know if I'm prepared. I'm actually... What the?! Oh my. And what have we here? Uh what am I even looking at? Why is it you? This is weird. So much power, so much chaos. I'd not be foolish enough to turn my back on such a predator. And on top of that, we have an unexpected guest tonight. Not a very favorable situation, all things considered. So, given this little predicament, how do you intend to partake? Uh, how about I kill both of you? That's what I'm trying to, you know. Let's see what you got. Oh, that's kind of frosty though, Makoto. <laughs> so long as you aren't against me, I will allow it. I don't know what our foe is capable of, but I trust you can protect yourself. We've well, never seen a thing like this either? Dude. Uh, all right, we got an OC shadow, which, I mean... Not entirely new, but what a hapless night, is it not? Well then, shall we begin? But I don't got my I don't got my suit. We're in trouble. Good thing we brought our weapon with us to the hospital. I get this is this is a nightmare. Shadow of the Abyss. Can't even scan it because we're not Fuka. Dude, I just feel naked. Alright, whatever. Friggin' buffing myself. Hmm. So that's your strategy. <laughs> no buffs for me. Really? What the dog? He's not gonna use his persona. We know he has one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, gets who I wouldn't do a lot. Let's, uh, I don't know if I need an ice break yet, but let's check it out. This is a cool thing to just make summer less boring. No offense. I'm impressed. It's tougher than it looks. How is that fair? He's hitting for one, like, dude, I'm the guy. I- I'm getting my butt handed to me! 
I... Oh, this is so humiliating. But honestly, it's probably... It's effective for a lot of reasons. That was quite respectful. I'll get into it after, but... But it's time to end this. This goes to show there's even bigger fish out there. As a reward for your efforts, let me show you my power. No kidding. Come! Persona! Here is an offering of some. Whoa. The finale was surprisingly unsatisfying, wasn't it? Yeah, no kidding. You made quite the team, huh? Now what, you gonna kill me? Like, what's that? What's happening? Wait, what is that? The defeated shadow seems to have dropped something. Is is that an evoker? Hmm. What do you no? What does that mean? Your persona ability is truly fascinating. Oh my god, now he's two guns. Freak, freak, freak. It's different from the one I saw the last time, isn't it? So you can choose from multiple personas to fit the situation. You must be burdened with an extremely unusual fate. It seems your friend has arrived. Then I suppose I'll have to be on my way for tonight. What is your name? Joe Mama. Smart. <laughs> Discretion is the better part of valor. Enemies though we may be, I'm not one for leaving a debt unsettled. I shall have to repay you another time. Uh, why? Why did it have an evoker? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm chilling. Did you already defeat the shadow? Uh, <laughs> come on. Who who you asking? Good work, but that was an unnecessary risk you took. Well, can't take all the credit. He helped out a little bit. You know. You can fill me in on the way back. In any case, I'm glad you're okay. Also, like, you know. Did we, did we ride back on the motorcycle? Like, like, and, you know, she's driving? Like, how do we... Uh, I'm just saying. Like, are we, are we grabbing? I, I explained what happened on the way back to the dorm. And... Summer continues. That was decent. Yes. Better. I'm glad you agree. There you are. You had a long night, huh? On that note, let's not go to Tartarus tonight. <laughs> Get no objections here. I'm good. I'm sorry. Thanks. I'd like to look into Strega with the chairman's help. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Also, I understand your circumstances last night, but try to avoid staying out late from now on. Well, yeah, blame Akutsuki. He was like, oh, and one more thing, Makoto. Like, freaking crap took forever. Anyway, freaking. How long are we gonna do this? I wanna get back to the game, bro! Am I being impatient? Yes. I don't care. The game is so fun. Every moment we're not playing it, it I just I lose my marbles. What can I say? At least summer school's over now. Doesn't it feel like we kinda wasted our summer vacation? Yes. I'll have to make a bunch of plans to make up for it. I wonder if there's anything going on soon. I have a suggestion. I am currently aware of a summer festival tomorrow and a film festival the following day. Oh. Oh, is that right? Wait, Ice, are you thinking about going to the festivals? Yes. Indeed. My data indicates that festivals and other like events offer unique experiences. So our investigative purposes, I plan to infiltrate such a shin dig. Yeah. Well, I'll try not to stand out too much, but have fun. It's a good time to learn about literature. Well, not really literature, but culture. You know. Uh, I guess with our nights a little more free, it wouldn't be a bad idea to see Tanaka. Yes. Just an annoying one. I've learned the meaning of the summer festival. It seems like a very interesting event. I'm looking forward to equipping the special armor known as a Yukat. <laughs> <laughs> so be a new experience for me. God dang, bro. Oh, so yo, what's up, champ? Oh, if we do this right now, we probably won't, be, you know. One sec, one sec. We're gonna do it tonight, for sure, but, you know, I gotta do my rounds. Huh? Looks like Karija Senpai and Sonata went out again. How do they have energy after summer school? I'm so tired. They 
I'm going to bed early tonight. I feel that. I've been sore for like three days straight. I don't know what the first going on with me. Can we just... Oh, yeah, they're gone. Can't go. And we haven't gone very often because of summer school, but we don't have much of a choice in the matter. Yeah. And Junpei's here. Ken's chilling. All right. Time to go. Let's get ready, dog. Let's go. Let's go. Get in the car. Wait, we don't have a car. Free. My bad. <gasps> Koromaru-san seems to be enjoying himself. Do you see this outfit? Um... Oh my god! Oh my god! Also, yes, Kormar is adorable. Look. He's able to go on cherished walks together with his friends. <laughs> Look at him go. This must be where the summer festival I have heard about will be held. For what reason is it required to equip oneself with this yukata? Well, that's the thing, I guess. I would like to infiltrate the site tomorrow to investigate this matter further. <laughs> Dang, he had a blast. Welcome back, Koromaru-san. Hmm? You seem to be holding something. Wait, what is it? Oh, what? Uh, that's just... Okay. I mean, that's not a super rare metal. He but... wants you to have this. Her gem? Perhaps it was part of his secret stash. Oh, no way. Shall we return to the dorm? Let us come again, Koromaru-san. Yes, let's. These are voiced too? Oh my god, I'm losing my marbles. They put so much love and passion in this game, bro. And money. Mostly a lot of money. Like all these scripts into multiple languages? God dang. Come to think of it, there's a summer festival going on at the shrine. And it's also Sunday. There's something I want to do with the shrine now that we have Koromaru by our side. Might be worth looking into. Wait, what's all this? Got a few messages. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no. Not Yukari. <sighs> Breaking my heart. Do I read all of them? It's gonna be a festival at Naganaki Shrine. Let's check it out. The stalls. I can't wait. wait she she would a heart. Oh no! Oh no! Too much pressure. It, hello. Dang. She wrote. She wrote a book, bro. Look at this, bro. She loves you. I mean, <clears throat> as a friend. It's still so very hot. Do you know about the festival tonight? We're planning to go. I'd love to go together. Be nice to make some last summer memories with you. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's that's a little more respectable amount. It's gonna be a shrine. Okay. And then Mitsuru. Perfect punctuation. How many Oxford's commas you got? Okay, she got only one. Plan on taking Igus there to show her around, but I'm not certain if it make a good guide. That sounds really fun. I really want to go with. But we actually can't. We can't pick Yukari. Why not? Dude, I'm heartbroken. Oh, well. Let's just hang out with the gals. You know what I mean? It's, 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 you know... It's, uh, God dang it. So hard to choose. Because, you know, I probably made someone upset, but I gotta go with my heart. It looks rather busy. I guess, be sure not to stray too far from us. Are my words even registering <laughs> to you? Uh, should we hold hands? Like all three of us, you know? Not not you and me. Uh I see. So you wish to restrain me. <laughs> Be warned that my ability to jettison my hand from my wrist would make holding it a poor method of restraint. Oh my effin god. She's killing me. Fine, fine. Just make sure to stay close to us. Hmm? This aroma. This is takoyaki. Would you like to try some? Shopkeep. I would like to purchase one. Shopkeep? Um, got it. <laughs> Coming right up. Oh, it's her again. Yeah, I recognize Well, aren't you a lucky guy with two beautiful ladies? Hey, yo, yo. I'll throw in an extra for you. On the house. We're just friends, ma'am. But thank you. On the house? Do the takoyaki have some kind of architectural purpose? Wait, I... Uh, mm. No offense, but how, how, how does this work? You know, like... Oh, excuse 
extremely high temperature juices have spurted out from inside. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Looks as though you've had another valuable experience. You should have some too. Show I guess the true nature of takoyaki. Mm, what about you? As for me, I'll have to decline. Why is that? You afraid of squid? Maybe. What are those? Oh no, they took out the reference. To P2. I mean, I guess that's fine, but why? Those are masks. They're worn over the face as a form of recreation. One can find enjoyment by hiding one's face? Hiding your face isn't the objective, exactly. Rather, you get to experience having a different one. Hmm. Putting this into words is proving difficult. Yeah, it is kind of a weird thing to describe, right? So then, by wearing a different face, you are able to become a different version of yourself? Yes, that's about right. Your degree of comprehension is actually quite stunning. At this rate, a few more tests and the chairman may give you permission to go out on your own. Yo? I look forward to that. I do too. <laughs> hey there, ladies! Wanna try your hand at a lucky draw? The duck's just out here. Alright, I, I didn't realize he was such a big mascot. Make some nice memories, what do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. I mean, we gotta do it. You know how rare those snowman plushes are. Hmm. Why don't we give it a try? The box is filled with triangular lottery tickets. From the bottom or from the top? I'm thinking the bottom. Oh, man, I'm excited. Are we gonna win? I don't know. Congratulations, <gasps> you won! Yes! Give me the snowman! Wow, you must have incredible luck to win on your first try. Here is your prize. Enjoy! Thank you, sir. Oh! We actually got one! Yes! 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 I have won a water pistol. Between this and my onboard oh. firearms, which is more effective in combat <laughs> against the shadows? <laughs> You know, I guess we'll just have to compare and contrast. Here, let's trade. You don't trust her with the water pistol? In exchange, I'll give you these marbles I won. They're beautiful, don't you agree? Well, I think we've seen all the vendors now. It's starting to get late, so let's head back. Not yet. The mystery of the shooting game is yet unsolved. Oh, I guess I guess won't be able to go into sleep mode if she doesn't discover. I precisely struck the item to unbalance its center of gravity, yet it did not even budge. Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on, let's go. What a fun time. And honestly, I'm trying my hardest to not cackle in a disgusting fashion with every word Iga says, but what can I say, man? She's funny as dumb. Also, sadly, we didn't get it do what I wanted to do Sunday, but I think we can all agree it was a blast. So we'll just have to do it next Sunday. They were sprucing things up with a summer only amazing commodities. I'm good. What up, gang? Greetings. Chef on those marbles? The summer festival is an excellent experience. The rate at which the candied cotton substance expanded exceeded my expectations. I would like to make an expedition to the next summer festival as well. No, me too. Are we gonna talk about how you ate the takoyaki? Like, where, I mean, I'm not trying to be nasty, but where does that where does that end up? Speaking of Kormar's meal, sometimes it looks like he wants to eat a beef ball. Guess it'd be better just to give him a dog food, huh? You know, there's some foods that are dangerous to dogs, and it's like he needs the stuff for his diet, right? Yeah, can't give him everything. Gotta show some restraint. It's for his health. Then think about what we feed Kormaru. We typically give him standard dog food, but do you think we should add some variety? Imagine you get bored of eating the same thing every day. Hmm. hmm, maybe we could cook him something. But for now, I'll simply buy different foods. Okay. How are we hanging? Okay, everything's in order. <laughs> Anywho, how are we doing, Maiko? Doesn't look great. I was waiting for you. Is it okay if we talk? Yeah. Oh, so you want some graham crackers? Like, you know, I'm worried about you. Genuine. Thank you for always helping me. But 
I gotta say bye for now. What? Where the heck are you going? Yup. I have to run away now. Remember not to tell mom and dad, okay? Bye bye. This is horrible. Wait, like today, today? Where the heck are you going? Uh. Hey, you. Have you seen a little girl? She's in elementary school. Oh my god, what would you do? Will you just take a second and calm down? Calm down? What if something happens to her? <laughs> oh, please. This is what happens when you force a child to study non-stop. Why are you always like this? Everything has to be my fault. Dude, I'm just chilling. Because it is your fault. This never would have you, happened you, if you, you can do this somewhere me. else, you know? Like... Look, we don't have time for this. I think I know who you are. You're the one, right? Maiko's told me about you. Uh-oh. She said she played with a high school kid instead of practicing piano. Hey, why does she snitch like that? What the dumb, Maiko? What? This is the first I'm hearing of this. What the hell did you do to my daughter? The woman is extremely agitated. Shut up! Stop jumping to stupid conclusions. I'm sorry about this. We're Maiko's parents. Oh, no way. We haven't seen her since this morning. When we checked her room, we found a note that said... I'm running away. And she came here to make sure she said goodbye. Dang. She's never done anything like this before. We should look for her? Yeah, we should. Let's do it. Uh, right. She might be around here somewhere. She's gonna run from you two. Like, let's, let's keep it real, but you know me? You know, I'm different. Like... Mike, oh, why? Listen. If you have any idea where she is, I'm begging you to tell us. Takoyaki stand. Yeah. Takoyaki stand? Oh, that place. Right, let's try looking. Michael! Mom! <laughs> She's so happy. You too? What's up? They forced me to do it. I'm sorry. Don't don't get mad at me. Well, I... Um, I... Maiko, are you okay? You're not hurt anywhere? I'm okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, why would you do such a thing? I was worried sick. Do you think that's funny, giving me a heart attack like that? Hey, that's enough. You made me worry too. I was so scared. You said you were getting a divorce and, and I didn't know what to do. I, I don't want you to get divorced. <laughs> oh. So that's what this is all about. We're really sorry, Maiko. Why don't we go home and talk about it? About time. It's awful we pulled you into this. I'm not sure what else to say. Hey. Uh, I told you to keep it a secret. I, they, 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 they pinned me to a board and forced me to, Maiko. It was awful. But... Thank you. Oh, okay, just don't reverse the social link, please. Maiko seems relieved to see that her parents still care about her. Heck yeah. God, this music's so beautiful. At the same time, did it really take this? Did it really? Freaking numbskulls. I'm mad at the parents. Like, really mad. Uh, bye bye. Oh my god, that was the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Maiko went home with her parents, and I went back home. And did absolutely nothing of substance. Like seriously, we're goofing off in this summer, bro. I mean, we're doing we're doing good deeds out here, but oh, welcome back. where's the events? It's so hot. I hate this weather. How are you holding up? Shoot, I'm built for this. Florida boy for life. Hmm? Oh really? Sounds like you're making the most of your summer vacation. 
Let me try to get my mind off the heat. So the next full moon is in September, right after break. <sighs> I talk about it like that. It sounds like I'm preparing for an exam or something. Anyway, there are only four shadows left. We have to hang in there. Yeah, I guess that's become sort of normalized. Look at you, you're just chilling. Wait, with the remote? Who gave you the remote? What's up with that? What's going on here? He's gonna, he's gonna swallow a battery. Oh my god, I'm so overprotective. You should follow yukari chans advice and try to finish summer homework soon. Shimakun said he's going to do it all at once later. How are you gonna tackle yours? Um, I already did all of it, I guess, little by little. Why, certainly. I think that's the best strategy to do homework. That's why I've been doing. So I've got most of it out of the way already. Right on. That's kind of how I tackle most things, actually. Except videos. Hey. You know, it's time to record. It's just grind time. I was thinking, I think will happen to us if the Dark Hour disappears. Let's just pray to God we're not in Tartarus when it happens. But yeah, after that, I mean, we'll just be normal kids. That's my thing, too. The Strega guys said our persona abilities will disappear, so I'll just go back to being ordinary high school students. I guess that's cool. By the way, son took Aigasan to the summer festival. Didn't hear anything in the news about it, so no one must have noticed she's a robot. She must have been in stealth mode. <laughs> Yeah, her active camo is pretty pretty effective. Speaking of Junpei, where the dump is he? Yo! Oh man, so many activities, but... <sighs> Hopefully we can do them all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're finite. Or at least, you know, they have a definitive end. But, oh, academics from Komaru. Don't mind if I do. Let's hang, brother. Uh, I, oh, is this his favorite show? It's a documentary about a wolf pack. Guess is what Komar wanted to see. Hey, chill, 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 chill. Komar seems to be mimicking the pack leader. <laughs> no, I'm the big dog around here. <laughs> that was the weirdest sound ever. Okay, okay, you know, we can both be alpha dogs, ain't no problem. Tribe respects tribe, you know? This rules. I love video games. Just hanging out with a dog. Oh, watching how animals live in the wild helped me somehow improve. <laughs> it's like the silliest jumping logic yet. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Nice. The program apparently has more episodes in this series. I guess we gotta check back some other time. With pleasure. We kind of have been just ditching Tanaka, though, and I am low-key worried I won't have enough time to do all the nighttime social links, a.k.a. all two of them. But realistically, shouldn't be that big of an issue. Now, according to my notes, which I'm trying to not tilt my head and look at, so the audio sounds ever so slightly different, because when the microphone does... You know what I mean? Uh, today should be a special program on the TV. Let's see. And... Hi, I'm Trish, with today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is a man in his 20s with a sour face. Um, I mean a handsome salary man. Though he hides it with his hair, the scar on his forehead is still obvious. I wonder what happened. Next is news. Bang, bang, go away. Hmm. Handsome salary man, eh? I think I'd like to get to know him a bit better. What is up with the scar, though? Oh, right. why, why, why is Trish so nosy? Yes. It's his busy. He's hiding it for a reason. Come on! Your summer break next year will be uh, inundated with studying for entrance exams. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. All right. Did some gardening, but I also ran out and got some soul spinach. So I have a feeling this will... Oh, my God, that takes forever. But Yeah, this might give us our SP back. So that would be kind of huge. Now, what do we do today? It has been a very long time. You've seen... Yes, they are available. Cool. Oh. Hey. It's you again. Is this what they call disillusionment? Can't really see was that kind of guy. I'm going to stop following him. This is so disappointing. Last thing I need is another guy like him. Whoa. What happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? On hot days like this, you got to go to the manga cafe. So it's cool. I don't think this is what you're talking about. Hey, PC... What about, what about the guy that was like, where's the dude that she was fawning over? Oh, right in my face. Freaking, I don't know why, but man, I think 
I'm starting to fall for her. What should I do? I can't just keep doing nothing. Maybe I should go ahead and talk to her, you know? Freaking... I guess now that he's interested, you still... Is that what the commentary is? I don't... Uh, anyway... My favorite elderly cop. Oh, maybe you can pass on some, some advice for these two, you know? They've been together so long. I don't think that's a topic they care to share. Uh, they do not look like they're in a chummy mood. Oh my god, stop it. I can't. Oh, look, dear. He's here. I'm the funny. Well, hey, what's up? Try and perk up for the boy, all right? I understand their reasoning. But if... If they really go through with this, if we lose that tree, it would be like losing our son all over again. Mm. These don't fight? Saying you're overthinking is, is not... It's very dismissive, so... Yeah, come on. Don't fight, you two. Oh, we're fine. We're not fighting. <laughs> I was just fussing. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry for making you worry. Apparently, the rumor about cutting down the persimmon tree was true. So we went to the school together to say our goodbyes. Unfortunately, that just reminded my dear of the pain we felt the day our son died. Jiro? Oh my god, these both suck. I'm sure it'll be okay. Yeah. See, dear? That's exactly what I said. If you keep crying all the time, then what'll your admirers think? <laughs> right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my, don't make fun of this wrinkled old lady. I can sense the elderly couple's appreciation. That I stop on by and... Found a... I don't really tell them much. It's like, don't worry about it. Stop fighting. Come on, you two. You love each other. That's kind of blanket Stop statements. by again anytime, all right? My wife would always be happy to see such a handsome young man. Uh, Here, take this for when you get hungry. Thanks. Man. This one just flies by. Oh, I just wish I could talk to these two more, I guess. Even if there are like ten ranks to every social link. Some days it's just like, no. I want, I want more. Then again, I'm one of those weirdos who like really, really likes the social and characters. The main cast is great too, and they've only been getting better, in my opinion. But golly, summer break will be ending in just under two weeks. Only two? Of course, fighting shadows takes priority, but don't forget to dedicate time to studying as well. Uh, I mean, I'm already rank five intelligence. I'll be fine, right? Yes, precisely. Komaru isn't just any old dog, he's a key member of C's. Please be mindful of what you're feeding him. D at least I am feeding him. What do you do, Akutsuki? Can I help? Yeah. What are we all doing here? I know Korachan didn't mean to hurt you, Korachan's feeling. What? I'm sure she's feeling a little down. I'm not sure to do this kind of situation. What's going What's the damage? What happened? <laughs> oh man, I'm dying here. <laughs> Yukatan said that the food she made didn't turn out the way she expected. Even Kormaru ran away from it. How bad your cooking have to be for that to happen? You? A bad cook? Yukari. I don't believe it. No, really, I don't believe it. That's a... Was it was it cilantro? Maybe he's allergic or doesn't like it. Um... I was trying to cook something and kind of messed up, and Korchan just happened to be nearby. So I asked him if he wanted a bite. But I was just joking, and he ran away so fast. I mean... I know it didn't come out right, but I didn't think it was that bad. It's one bad dish. You're not a bad... You're, you're canonically not a bad cook. I have the flowchart. And she is not on it. Though we may have to update that one day. Well, if it isn't Yuki. You look like you have some time to spare. Shall I give you some more valuable life lessons? Free of charge, of course. <laughs> this voice is, like, way too fun to do. I like your attitude. All right, let's get to it. Today, I'll tell you a funny story. These days, even a grade schooler knows how to buy stocks online. How about you? Interested in stock trading? Well, I feel like me 10 years ago would say, absolutely not. But lately, I mean... I can skip a meal or two and maybe buy some stocks. And that, it's just, it is genuinely gambling, but yeah, I don't know. I think 
investing in some ways is important. So yeah. That's the spirit. If you keep all your money in the bank, your modest gains will be offset by outrageous fees. Sadly, he he's kind of spitting. Don't let the fear of bankruptcy dissuade you. No. It pays to be aggressive in the management of your assets. No, 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 no. I could not disagree more. You're crazy. My company just went public on the stock exchange. Oh. Since our sales were skyrocketing, we decided to sell shares. And guess what? The number of shareholders skyrocketed too. And I'm sure that line can only go up, Mr. Tanaka. Now listen. <laughs> this is the funny part. The majority of our shareholders <coughs> are also our customers. That's not good. You understand this as a house of cards, right? They keep buying more of our products, so of course the stock will rise. Isn't that hysterical? <laughs> you should learn to appreciate the irony. Mr. Tanaka, you lied to me. You said this story would be funny. I'm thinking of offering you a job, so you should come up with some stories of your own. Uh-huh. This is not even a little bit fun. To him, though, he's he was probably looking forward to this. Like, oh, I can't wait to tell Yuki. <laughs> oh, it's gonna long. He will long. Have you been keeping your promise? Uh, you didn't tell anyone, did you? About what? Oh, that women's lingerie you be buying? If you go back on your word, I'll find out where you live and ring the doorbell every night. I feel like one of our doormates won't appreciate that and might come after you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess only hunts shadows. But that water pistol, though. I don't know. Gotta, she always keeps that thing on her. Oh, wait, no, she literally doesn't, because Mitsuru confiscated it. Ah, oh, bummer. Anyway. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. Wait, what? Again? I am calling to inform you that more oh. humans have wandered into Tartarus. Right, 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 right. right. One, goodbye now. Just one, though. Okay. I'll get to it when I have time. <laughs> it's so terrible, but... What can I say? Man, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm being completely candid with you. I don't like to upload videos that I don't feel like an absolute banger, but yo, real talk, that summer school bull crap sucked. So what's the option? Quit? No, we're gonna keep uploading more. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Summer school's done. Let's enjoy the rest of the summer for real this time. I guess this festival sort of balanced it out, but still, why not Yukari? Ah, that's going to be bugging me. Anyway, enough of that. See you all next time, all right? More Persona 3 Reload coming soon. Bye.